tasters, ever wondered why a wine bottle only has a capacity for 750 ml? Why not a litre? There are many theories around this. Most of them are wrong. For example, some speculate that since the bottles were made of blown glass, the 750 ml size must have been the average capacity of a glassmaker's lungs. Others claim that since a 750 ml bottle equals six servings of 125 ml, this size must have prevailed because six people usually sit around the table. This is a textbook example of circular reasoning. The contents of the wine bottles were standardized in the 19th century, and the real reasons for the classic bottle size are, of course, much simpler and more practical than the theories mentioned above. Two were the decisive factors. On the one hand, in the 19th century, Great Britain was the largest and most powerful empire in the world. And on the other hand, most of us do not like mathematics. In the 19th century, England was a major market for French wines, especially those from Bordeaux. French wine was imported in large quantities. As we all know, the English have always used their own units of measurement. To measure volume, the British did not use the litre, but the imperial gallon. And do you remember how many litres the British imperial gallon was equivalent to? The answer may be a little hard to remember, 4.54609 litres. To avoid complicated arithmetic, Bordeaux winemakers created barrique barrels with a capacity of 50 imperial gallons. Even more convenient was the fact that these 50 gallons could easily be divided into 300 750 ml bottles and one gallon was divided into six bottles of wine. That is why, even today, wine cases contain 6 or 12 750 ml bottles. Although the metric system has now been adopted by most countries, including Great Britain, the size of the wine bottle will probably never change to one litre, even when it comes to oversized bottles of wine, which are named after kings of the Bible, we still measure their capacity in multiples of the traditional bottle, not in litres. For example, the Jeroboam bottle corresponds to four regular bottles. Rehoboam corresponds to six bottles. Methuselah has as much content as eight regular bottles, while the Salmanazar equals 12 regular bottles. The 750 ml size is now the only reference point. Conclusion. Although we all love romantic explanations, the truth is usually more pedestrian, more practical and money bound. In other words, the real reason the size of 750 ml prevailed is because it facilitated trade between Great Britain and Bordeaux. And because, be honest, you wouldn't want to pick a fight with her either. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. Is there another theory that explains the 750 ml bottle? Share it with us and I will see you on the next video. Cheers! Calling that done. Let's double check that everything's been recording. Have you been recording like a good boy? You have. Okay, so...